hey guys, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. So as you know, the live did not get recorded on Monday um, because it wouldn't stop recording. It kept streaming forever and ever. So I finally had to delete it. So uh, that was kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> then I go to do it again. So I went back to answer a bunch of people's questions that didn't get their questions answered um, or that lost them because they didn't watch the live, which you guys may want to consider watching lives from now on in case that should ever happen again. Um, and don't wait for the answers to come later and go back and watch the recording. Um, yeah, I went to do it. I went and did it all over again and it, and it didn't record because another recording, I didn't click OK for it for the recording on Zoom. So it didn't record it. It didn't wouldn't convert it after that. <laughs> so much lovely wasted time. You know, why not? You know, just I have time to spare everywhere. Just repeat hours and hours worth of footage. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Um, which kind of actually brings me around to this other thing. Okay. Well, I'll get I'll get there in a minute. Spirit, please remind me to talk about that. Okay. Um, all right. So you guys need to know this about the lives. Um, they're on Mondays and Thursdays, 12 o'clock mountain time. You can figure that out for your own time zone. Um, I answer general questions and blessings for free. So you can ask me whatever you want about anything you want. Um, if it's f for the good of humanity or cats or dogs or whatever, whatever you want to ask me, if it's a general question, um, I will ask spirit for, to get you an answer for free. Um, if you want a personal question, it's $11 per question. So if you have two questions, that's $22. If you have three questions, it's $33 and so on. And you need to put your question in the notes when you send the payment to www.paypal.me forward slash Amy Satori. Um, yeah, and that's just pretty much how the lives work. But I also wanted to let you know that there are, that I always do a little talk beforehand. Most of the time, I do a little talk beforehand for probably a good 20 minutes up until I start doing the readings. So for those of you who didn't know that, um, that's where the messages from Spirit went pretty much. I, get, I talk about downloads, world circumstances, um, updates, uh, cool stories about unions and, and crazy things that happen. Um, so... It might interest you if you miss the messages from spirit to just check out the lives, just the beginning of the lives for the first 20 minutes or so um, and check out what's going on. Okay. So having said that, I wanted to give you guys, <laughs> show, I've shared this story so many times now. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Um. Basically, uh, this, which one do I want to share first? Okay, so there's, there's a particular masculine who's getting married to somebody he knows is the wrong person for him. And uh, he has, is still professing his love to his feminine. He's still... He's still talking about, you know, taking her aside and saying that she is the love of his life and he really wants to be with her and all this stuff. But he loves this other girl. So he wants to go ahead and get married to her, <laughs> which is ridiculous because there's no passion there and there's no there's really nothing there. So I think he's just people pleasing. He, he brought it this far. And so like he's not wanting to go back on it which is just going to end up damaging the both of them later on when that doesn't work because it's not going to work because how could it, you know? So um, basically what the, the really funny thing is that he started working at this new place and uh, he was talking to a colleague and they were talking about these girls that they're going out with, both of them, not with the people that they really want to be with. And the, the colleague person um, ended up telling him that he has a roommate who's got 
a, a, a cousin, his, his roommate's cousin is somebody that he was like super, super interested in and really wanted to date badly, even though he, I guess he's with this other girl or something like that. I don't know, actually. Yeah, I think they were both with people anyway, but he really wanted to date this other girl. And he's like, do you want to see a picture? Because he's like, oh, cool. Wow. And so he shows her, shows him a picture of the girl that he wants to get to know and he wants to date. And it was his divine feminine. <laughs> The universe has such a great sense of humor. So it's like, and he had to bite his tongue because what's he going to say? I'm about to marry this other girl, but I'm really in love with the one that you like. So what could he say? And how awkward will that be if they start dating? Then he's going to have to hear all these incredible stories about the trips they go on and them falling in love and the whole thing. He's going to have to sit there and bite his tongue. I mean, talk about justice being served. He's got to bite his tongue for the rest of his relationship with that colleague, never saying one word about the fact that he's madly in love with the woman that he is starting to date. Can you even imagine? So <laughs> here's what I was gonna here's what I was gonna say too. We say that we want happiness, but <laughs> we're really addicted to misery. We're really addicted to the ego and the ego is misery. The ego convinces us that there's something out there in the future that can make us happy. And it keeps us miserable. Even if, whether you're in a relationship or not, it does the, this, it's the same mechanism that works. So if you're in the relationship, you're always wishing that your partner, if they could only do this thing, if they could only do that, if they could only talk this way, if, if they would only change in that way, then you would be happy. If you're not in a relationship, then you're like, if only he would show up, if only he would come solid, you know, if only he would just be mature, if only he would, you know, finally just tell me how he really feels, if he would, you know. And we're going to keep that game going on until we learn to focus on ourselves and our own healing, period, end of story. You know, when we focus on being in the moment, then things are going to go much, much better for us and as, and as well as our partner, because we're not going to be all codependent on that person. If you're too codependent on the person, that person, you're going to ruin it. You're going to ruin it with that person. And I've said this like a million times, but, you know, repetition always helps. <laughs> so stop being addicted to your misery. Stop blaming your circumstances. Stop blaming the other person for you being unhappy and take some ownership of your own level of happiness, your own vibration right now. And especially now I'm going into the subject that I asked them to remind me of, and they did. So thank you. Um, this date forward, the 26th of May, all the way through June 11th, we're going through some kind of a special opportunity or a portal that, is, that accelerates our growth by an entire lifetime if we allow it. The objective of this game for the next two weeks is to stay positive always on everything. Don't Go into any negative emotion, no despair, no sadness, no regret, no upset, no anger, no fuming, no venting, no complaining, no settling, no feeling sorry for yourself, no victimhood, no depression, no nothing, none of it, okay? If you start going in, down any of those negative pathways, any of those negative wormholes, Stop yourself immediately and go watch a funny cat video or go watch a funny thing on children doing goofy things or go, um, you know, go, go do something to switch your vibration. If you're following somebody on Instagram who your heart was broken over and you're still sad about, for God's sakes, block them, stop following them, love yourself. Love yourself enough to not put yourself through that, okay? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> if, you know, whatever it is, block the person. If they're still contacting you, oh, they break my heart when they contact me. Then for crying out loud, what the hell are you doing letting them still contact you? Would you block them? 
please, I'm giving you permission right now. If you love yourself, block the person. Do not follow them. Do not follow them. Even using your fan page, do not follow them ever. Don't do it. You can always, I mean, that's the laziest thing in the world. You can, you can go over and check them out someday if you really want to see what's going on over there. You, can, you always have access to it, but you don't have to freaking follow it, right? So <laughs> just, <laughs> you guys put yourselves through these things that I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, what, what, what are you doing? You, it's that addiction to unhappiness. It's, it's the, the most ridiculous addiction there is. It's just, all addictions are ridiculous in a sense, because you're, you just choosing to be unhappy and to treat yourself abusively. So anyway, whatever it is that makes you unhappy. And, and I just went through a major test. I mean, this is a, this is the test of your lifetime. This is a test of a lifetime. You have to stay positive till June 11th period. So even though I recorded all of these hours and hours <laughs> already, um, when all of this went down, <laughs> I decided in a heartbeat, I'm going to be happy about making a whole other one. I'm doing it all over again. I'm doing it all over again. Here we go. <laughs> and I didn't waste any time complaining about it. I'm being funny about it now, but the old me, you know, just a day ago would have been, oh man, that would have gotten me in the worst mood. I would have been so mad about that for at least a few minutes. And I would have just been, you know. Oh, I probably, I probably would have been like, look, you guys, I'll just give you your money back. I'm not going to do your readings again. I'm not going to do it. I've already done your readings twice. I can't do it again. You know, I would have done something like that, but I'm not doing that today because I'm in a test. I'm in a test and I'm choosing positivity no matter what happens. Okay. <laughs> no matter what. And, uh, and I'm going to do it for my soul's evolution and for my ascension Nothing is worth holding on to and being upset about. Nothing ever. Okay. So, all right. Um, anything else? Yeah. You guys just have to realize that the decisions that you're making right now, you're going to have to live with. You think it's going to be a temporary situation, but you're going to have to live with that for the rest of your life, potentially, because you think you're going to be able to get out of it. You're not going to be able to get out of it. Don't go into a karmic situation by being naive. I'm only going to do this sexual thing for a while or something like that. No, no, mm -mm, not going to happen. I, an example would be, I'm going to give you two examples of some incredible stories that will boost your faith in the divine masculines and, and also let you know, like when a feminine recently was just like, are you maybe reading into the karmic of how he feels about the karmic and not me? No, dude, I wouldn't be a professional doing my job if I would mess up like that. That'd be stupid. <laughs> no, gosh, you guys, <laughs> you're so insecure. So you guys, one thing you need to know about the masculines is they lie. They lie. They lie to everybody and especially to your face. So I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm feeling into. And I know, yeah, just don't, don't quit. Don't put your questioning on me. <laughs> you start you start getting some self-worth and start realizing that your masculine actually does love you deeply. And he's just not telling you because that's the truth. All right. I'm going to give you two really good examples of that. Okay. <laughs> One, I was having lunch with the masculine and we were having this great time and, and we were, you know, just really uh, opening up to each other. And so I, I start asking him, he said, he's like, I'm going to start, you know, I've, I've started a physical relationship with this girl and it's not his divine feminine. He he knows who his divine feminine is, and he's just like not gonna not gonna go there right now. So he's having sex with this other person, and he's like, I'm just gonna experiment. I'm gonna get better at it at 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 the you know at performing. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful how I say things. Um, and he's like, he he just thought he would take it as a as a as an experiment or an experience, and maybe help her and her self esteem too. Well, he was thinking this is going to be a good, a good lesson for both of us. It'll be temporary. And then, um, and then, I, and I just said, well, why are you wasting your time? Like, why don't you just go to your divine feminine? This makes no sense. Cause you could totally learn and grow and heal and do all this stuff with your divine feminine. And he, when I said, when I recommended that, he just like flew back. He goes, no way, no way. And he just like terrified, 
of going to the divine feminine. And, and he goes, I'm not ready for that. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm not ready for that. So they know that you are like some other caliber of person for them. And they know they're, they're going to be brought to a whole other level of being. They know they're going to have to be happy. God forbid, right? So, um, yeah, so they trick themselves. They fool themselves. They go into denial and go after somebody that they know is that they don't want to even be with. And they tell themselves they'll get themselves out of it somehow after they've used them for something for a while. But little do they know they're getting tricked by the karmic person because the karmic person's like, ooh, I could get money out of them. I could get a reputation out of them. I could get, you know, my family will pay, give me a big pat on the back for marrying a doctor or for being, you know, they, they glom on for to use you back. And you're not going to get rid of that person. <laughs> There's no way in hell you're going to get rid of that person. So both of you have each other pegged as somebody that you can use to get ahead somehow in the egoic world. It is just wrong. It is just wrong, you guys. But this is what the masculines do. Okay, and here's the second example. Um, with this other masculine, he starts telling me this picture of painting a picture of his life. Oh, oh, we're on Instagram and we're happy and we're living this wonderful life and we're doing all these great things. And she's just this, that, and the other thing. And she's just perfect because she's just like this, that, that, da, 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 da. And I see right through it, you guys. Like, I can hear the way that you talk about this person that you supposedly love. I can tell whether that is your true love or a karmic person just by the way that you sound when you're talking about them. And I could see right through this masculine. So I lean in and I was like, so what about that person you can't stop thinking about? And he was like, oh, I, don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, no, nope, there's not really anybody. And I lean in even further. I'm like, are you sure in your heart of hearts when you really get quiet that there's not somebody, tink, 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 you know? And then he was like, oh, well, I couldn't, yeah, I, I couldn't be with that person. There is, there is one person, but I, I couldn't be with that person. And I was like, well, why not? Oh, well, you know, there's an age difference. We live in different places. We're from different worlds, you know, and on and on and on the list went. And I just listened and I listened. <laughs> and I just said, but what if you could? What do you mean? What if I could? Well, what if you, what if you could be with her? Oh, I, I just can't. And there's just no way. And then I was like, but what if you could? And all of a sudden, his eyes just welled up with tears. And he's like, blink, blink, blink. And he's just like, uh, like, and then he, he leans in and he says, could I really be with her? Do you really think I could be with her? And he starts crying. And I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Both of these masculines shocked me in, in their reactions. And I was just like, wow, that was in there? And you were hiding it? under a bush like what you have that kind of intensity that kind of love for somebody and you're hiding it and you're not going after it what in the world is wrong with our world are you kidding me and that is a majority of our population most people love somebody like that and they're not going after it they're settling for some story they're telling themselves about being happy with some other person they don't even like that much that their parents approve of, that everybody tells them they should go out with or whatever. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. That's the real pandemic going on right now, honestly. That's the thing. That's the problem with our world right now is that people are people pleasing and it's absolutely ridiculous. They're either people pleasing the person they're going out with. They don't have the, you know, oh, I could never hurt them. You're hurting the one that you love most. <laughs> You're hurting your very soul. If you let that person go, they'll go to the person they would really love and get along with incredibly well, way better than with you. Like you're like keeping them in misery with some kind of story about feeling sorry for them when they're just playing you and using you for your money or whatever it is. And it's just like, okay, everybody's just got to get some self-esteem here. Everybody's just got to be like, oh, people can take care of themselves, <laughs> you know, 
and so can you, and so can you. So trust me, I know these masculines inside and out. They are lying to your face if they are acting like you know darn well that they feel what they feel for you and they're either lying to you or they're hiding it or whatever it is. Trust me. <laughs> Just trust me. I have talked to the divine masculine masculines and they bury it they bury it and did you see that just happened with my throat <clears throat> they have a lot to say to you that they are holding back because of their pride because of their ego because they're protecting you from a certain situation because they won't, don't want you to get involved in all their drama and whatever else for now but they are coming to you even if it like that one who's about to marry the woman he really doesn't want to be with. It's like the God stepped in. That was divine intervention. God stepped in and is like, if you don't have her, you're going to have to hear about this for the rest of your life. Some other guy going out with her and enjoying the hell out of her because he's got the balls to do it. And you're settling for some person. You're keeping both of you stuck with the wrong person, keeping the person that you supposedly love and feel so sorry for that you have to marry her. You're like keeping her miserable too, because she's not, she's not going to be happy with you either. Neither you're agreeing to a situation to go through for many years, perhaps of both of you being miserable. And then you're going to have kids together. And then you're really going to get stuck in it. And it's like, you know, what are people thinking? You know, our society is sick. They're just, they're, they're sick and they're sick with the ego. <laughs> That's the real sickness in our society, the ego. It's, it's the Luciferians have been teaching us for a long time. They've been programming us for a long time to be thinking, even on the news, that's all they do is talk about the past and the future, 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 programming, programming, programming to ignore your very essence and your power, which resides in this moment right now. And in this moment, you're not going to have low self-esteem. And in this moment, you're not going to feel like you don't deserve it. And in this moment, you're going to feel worthy. And in this moment, you're going to play like a child. And in this moment is where the magic is. In this moment, not either of those two directions, okay? We have to reprogram our brains. We got to get back to what love is meant to be. It's not this tainted, messed up, egoic thing that those other people have programmed into our brains <laughs> it's not pornography Por i can't even say it it's not pornography okay it's not looking perfect it is not any of that garbage <laughs> it is here it is here and it's appreciating the authenticity in another person it's loving them unconditionally and being willing to do anything for them and especially for yourself Loving yourself first and foremost enough to choose that person that you love more than anything. Um, and creating a life of harmony, you know? So it's like, if you're miserable, you're just, if you're addicted to misery, you're going to cause it wherever you go. So you better, you better quit that addiction. And the only way you can do that is to break free of what you think you are and become who you really are. Free of the ego as quickly and as soon as possible. <sighs> okay. Back to the 1700th time I've done <laughs> these <laughs> few readings. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> A.S. <laughs> A.S. This is fantastic. It's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> okay, I have two questions. So my DM said he's been staying in a hotel here and there because of personal problems. I'm guessing it has to do with his karmic. Can you give me some clarity on this? Yes, it's because of the karmic. It's because they're fighting. It's because they know that they're on the outs. It's because, but he feels like entrenched in it somehow. He feels, I don't know if their money is intermingled or if she's mean and nasty. Some of these uh, masculines get themselves in these situations situations with these karmics that are just mean and nasty and threaten to beat them up and all kinds of things. So he feels like he's in a really tricky situation, but he really does want to be with you badly. And he knows that you would never treat him this way. He would never have to escape to a hotel room to get away from you. 
Um, he knows it's a very, very toxic, unhealthy situation that he would like to get himself out of, but it just looks like it's going to take a little time till he's able to do that. Um, number two, what messages do you have for me today? Does he have for me today? He says, please don't give up on me. And um, he's saying, I'm, I really am trying to, he's people pleasing. He admits to the people pleasing thing. Oh, he's wanting to, um, he was he's wanting a new life to start up, but he's going to have to heal this once it's over. Cause he's, it's, it's so messed up because he's just, he's really not listening to his heart. He's not really not listening to his soul. And he's basically just been, been quieting that authentic voice within him so long that he just, um, he's almost become numb to who he is. And he's like become some kind of a robot that just does as others want. So, <clears throat> but you are like that thing reminding him of who he is because you're living that authentic life. You're, you're like, he wants to be like you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Jungle book. <laughs> Uh, he does. He wants to be like you. Ooh, ooh. Um, so, yeah, he, he, he's got to go through some stuff. He's got to go through some stuff first before he really steps into his ultimate authenticity. Um, what, is he keeping an open mind or is she need to keep? She, you need to keep an open mind. You need to keep an open mind because uh, you're ready and he's not. And um, he, he has yet to feel like it's safe for him to love because he's used to getting beat up. Um, but he's, he's healing that just by knowing you, like he's, he's healing that. So he's, but he's going to hit, he's going to just take more time. Okay. Oh, they said that he could go through some kind of a growth spurt that kind of catapults him forward. So thank God. Okay. Um, G B. Um, hi, Amy. Happy Magic Monday. <laughs> or what is it, Wednesday now? Is it, po um, is it possible to get a light language in the overall aspect of my life to promote uh, good health and peace and whatnot? Yep. You know, the cool thing about all of this that I can really definitely put a positive spin on is you've been blessed like three, four times now. So I bet you're, I bet you're really going to start soaring after this. <laughs> all right. Second question, same person. I want to obtain an update on my DM. And send a blessing for him to assist him in overcoming any fears and living more in his truth. Amen. <laughs> I actually kind of feels like things are coming together for him. He's, he is starting to love himself more. <clears throat> He is making better decisions for himself. Um, okay, so there's also a message from Spirit coming through saying that if both love counterparts start choosing happiness despite their circumstances, they'll be together like that. But they got to choose happiness in every decision. Okay. No, 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 no. K S. All right, K S. Any insight on my soulmate who will actually manifest himself in the three D? Hama ma ke na ta ishense se na puma ma ha na ai na ke ishense. Okay. <clears throat> I think you have a couple different options coming through. 
Because I think I was picking up on somebody else before, but we're, I think I'm getting total, somebody totally different now. He is, um, he can be kind and patient. He's also a little bit, or no, he's the same person. <laughs> also a little bit irritable. Sometimes he gets a little triggered, but I feel like both of you use humor and um, comfort each other in different ways that kind of complement each other. You can keep each other balanced that way. Things are good in the bedroom. Um, kind of hot sometimes, kind of cold sometimes though, but if you can weather the storm and not take it too personally, then I think it'd be a good thing. Um, you're going to have to work on not taking things personally because sometimes he gets, he gets real triggered and I feel like you're, he's just had, he's been like through a lot. You're just going to have to really um, downplay his insecurities because he just really, um, he, he's used to people really putting him down in relationships and he started to believe those things that they've said, even though they were doing it to control him. So you're going to have to reverse that somehow. Unfortunately, that's, that's ugh. he's got to learn to love himself more, but you know, but you, maybe you can show him like, so what if they said that? So what, why do you, why would you take on that belief as your own? Like you should know better who you are. You should, stake your claim on who you believe you are and not care about what anybody else thinks you are. Like, why would you believe somebody else who's saying something negative? Um, you know what I mean? So you guys are going to have that to work on. Um, but you guys have a lot of fun together and you guys are going to go on some fun trips and all kinds of cool things. If he starts working late, um, then that means you have been too controlling and too um, domineering in the relationship. And it means that you need to have a heart to heart with him and, and ask him what you've been doing to push him away. And, you know, it just both of you at certain points in time need to come back into your heart and just have a good heart to heart with each other to get real with each other again and apologize, take responsibility for yourselves. Okay. My second question any insights on my DM, the father of my daughter, and if there will be um, some sort of peace between us and our situation with our daughter? I think he's some kind of a narcissist or a psychopath or something like that for you to even ask for the peace. Because if you guys have a daughter together, then um, he should be wanting peace also. You know, that's what a normal, healthy person does when they're in a situation and they're divorced from someone and they love their child is they do what they can to create peace. So, um, and when they don't, that means they're totally in their ego and, or they don't have any compassion for a fellow human being. So um, I definitely would not be expecting to get back together with him at all. I don't think that he's, I, I think he's pretty toxic. No, I really don't. I, I, I would go, I would go toward the new guy. I'm trying to bring peace into the situation. Your daughter's trying to bring peace into the situation. Oh yeah. Um, I feel like also um, paying him compliments, sincere compliments um, will be helpful. Um, use positive reinforcement. In other words, like ignore the negative behavior and accentuate the positive just as you would a child. Instead of being, gosh, you're such a troublemaker. Oh, you're such a tyrant. I can't believe that you're blah, 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 blah. What a mess. You always make such a mess. Try to see the good in whatever they're doing. So if they're making a big mess, be like, man, you are so creative. I never would have thought to do that. That's amazing. What a brain you have. Or, or man, you're, you're so bossy sometimes. Like, or you're, you're going to have it your own way. You're going to make an incredible leader sometime, someday. Or, um, or catch them when they're doing something nice. Wow, I love how you're sharing with your sister. I just think that that's so beautiful. That's something so amazing about you is you're always sharing of yourself. You're so kind. You know, like encourage those good behaviors. Do not say things like you're a good boy or be a good boy or some, something like that because you're going to create a people pleaser. You don't want him to want your approval. You just, you know, just reward and uh, affirm the good behavior. Um, so you could do that with your ex. 
Okay, L-E. <laughs> I'm flying through these. L-E. Um, my cat passed away about three years ago. I miss him dearly, and I swear he was someone uh, reincarnated. He wasn't your typical cat. Uh, that's because he was your son. He was your son in a past life. So he's like a soulmate. Um, is he around with us? No, um, he's, he's in heaven and um, he's jumping through fields, running after butterflies. He's actually playing with the butterflies, the things that he's catching and releasing, he's actually playing with and having fun with. So there's no like hunting and killing. It's just, uh, it's just total playtime and everybody knows it. And it's really, really fun. But if you think about him and call him in or, th or think about him and talk to him or anything like that, then he's there. Um, he does want to come back to you eventually, but I think he's going to wait until you're in the 5D to do that for whatever reason. Um, he's having too much fun, he said. <laughs> okay. Will I find a partner in this lifetime? I'm looking for a unicorn, I swear. Um, yeah, you will. Um, you will. And... Yeah, it's like he kind of uses humor to get you to kind of loosen up a little bit. Um, I'm a shikin sasi nata ikin, and I'm a ama ana na ke jeans. Um, he likes to have fun. He likes to go on road trips and go go do fun things, spontaneous things. So he'll be like, hey, let's go get ice cream or hey, let's go <clears throat> do this fun thing. So I think he's going to bring adventure into your life. And, um, and, and let's see. He knows how to set his job aside too. Like he's not going to put his work as a priority over you. He's going to like... He knows he'll be, he'll be like, I need to take some time off. Maybe he's a boss or something, but he's, he definitely knows how to take his time off and be the boss. <clears throat> um, you sometimes in his business, it looks like he, uh, he does, he tries to do some shady things. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I feel like you're going to have to keep his conscience in check sometimes. It's not that he's a bad person. It's just like he, he like, he'll take a shortcut sometimes at his work. <clears throat> so you're going to, you're going to be helpful to him that way. You're going to be like his angel and he's going to, he listens sometimes to the devil on his shoulder. He wants to get ahead. Um. He's a good cook, a good listener. Yeah, it's really nice. It, it just feels like the, the two of you balance each other out really well. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to get to some general questions <laughs> again. <laughs> Um, how do we best prepare for the lunar eclipses? Okay, so I already talked about that. Um, stay positive. Stay really positive. Don't take anything personal. Let stuff go. If there's ever a time you'll do it from between now and, and June 11th, let it go, 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 block, unfollow, let it all go. Just let it all go. Just once and for all, just be done. Uh, or take care of it, but get it off your plate. But just, just yeah, just keep your attention on what you want or what makes you really happy or what's going to make you laugh or what's going to make you lighten up. Okay. Um, and I have, I put out a video recently called Three Days of Darkness that helps you prepare for that if you want to watch that. Um, are the naysayers in the divine masculine's life beginning to notice that this connection is inevitable? Absolutely, yes, but they're not exactly going to admit it yet. But there's like a part of them um, cheering you guys on and thinking, wow, if this works out, this is going to inspire the hell out of me and everybody that I can think of. So they're kind of silently rooting you on, even though they may they may be acting skeptical and stuff like that. Um, 
Okay, heal and free spirits who died in asylums, hospitals, or held captive in similar ways or experimented on. Human, animal, and other. Okay. Hamashikin se se na ho pumumaha na e. Halakiri in chat se kin se e na ae pumuma uma oma. Hala ana e shin se se kiti na pumuma oma ae. Hala hana ta shikin se se na pumuma kuchin. Hala hikin se 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 na te kin pumuma ana. Okay. Um, if humans were so-called mythical creatures or a being, what would they, how would they be described? Um, everyone would be different. Everyone is like a different star seed or from a different galaxy or, you know, the, it, and some people would look like birds. Others would look like octopuses in a way. Um, others would be more like um, puff, puffer fish. You know, it's like everybody would be different. We're like a total, we're total mutts and we're a total mixed bag. So um, I, there's not one way that somebody would look. And when it comes to, she says, what are our gifts? It's going to also vary. Um, what do we bring to the universe? Our own uniqueness in our own different flavor, you know, being unique and not being afraid to be authentic. Um, all of us coming together with our own unique gifts are going to be what we're here to contribute. But I also believe that everyone's here to realize their power and everyone's here to, to see who and what they truly are beyond the personality that they picked. Um, you know, being present in the moment, holding hands with God, being one with the God source energy um, and knowing that that's actually who you truly are. That's your real identity beyond, you know, your name and all that kind of stuff. Um, how do we get in touch with our place as a people? By being present in the moment and dropping all stories and all beliefs beyond that. Okay. A blessing for divine counterparts to see the truth in all things and have epiphanies. Okay, um, please, can you tell us if selkies are real? Yes, they are. Do they hang out with real seals? Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say on a regular basis, but they run into them pretty frequently, like we run into neighbors. Uh, what do they like? Feisty, fiery, um, they got ego, they seduce, they're kind of like succubuses of the ocean. They use their voices. Um, what can we learn from them uh, to use our voices like toning or singing or whatever it is to make an impact um, it, that it could be kind of a superpower for some of us. How are they feeling about the changes on our planet? They're a little, they're very, um, they've got trepidation. They, they're very anxious about it. Like, Oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Um. Yeah, they're not liking it. It's making them feel a little defensive. It's making some of them quarrel amongst each other. But when we come into more peace, it's going to help them. Um, would three days of darkness happen at the same time for everyone or will it vary? I think it's going to happen the same time for everybody. Um, have you ever stopped someone in public for a message? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I try not to do that. Um, I try to mind my own, my own business for the most part, but if spirit really pushes you to do it, then I do it. I wouldn't do it to show off. I wouldn't do it to, to act like, oh, I'm just so psychic. I just pick up on everybody and I just have to go tell them what's going on. Don't do that. Don't do that because whoever you're with is just going to roll their eyes and just they, they're going to know you're just being kind of an attention whore. <laughs> don't go flaunting it in the streets. You know, I don't think so. I, you know, unless spirits really, really pushing you to go say something to somebody, I would just leave people alone for the most part, unless they come to you, unless it's solicited and they want your advice on something or whatever it is. Um, Cause I just don't, I don't think we should be bragging. That's just ego, you know? Um, there's something else about that for a minute. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. A blessing for divine masculines and feminines to heal and be happy so they can come together. Yeah. Whew. 
they both of you need to just choose happiness. That's plain and simple what you guys need to do. When you choose that you want to be happy and you'll do anything to be happy, um, just meaning that you keep choosing to do things you really want to do and not taking other people into consideration. Just not in a, in, um, I'm not saying blatantly bulldoze other people. I'm just saying, you know, you make your own decisions. Don't let other people sway you. Don't be a people pleaser. You know, just do what's usually when you can find, um, usually you can find something, some way to do what you want to do, but giving other people what, what it is that they truly need. And I mean, need not want, um, you know, don't let people act like spoiled brats and don't give into that kind of tyranny, uh, of people just, you know, oh, but I want you around. That's not the same thing as an actual need. Make sure that their needs are, in, you don't have, you're not responsible for anybody else. Never, I erase that. You know, you're not responsible for anybody else. But if there is like, if there truly is a dependent child or something like that involved, yeah, you got to make sure that those responsibilities are fulfilled, fulfilled. But past that, everybody can take care of themselves and you just go do what you want to do. Um, you just got to put yourself first and choose happiness. Um, okay, so I don't know if I discussed it yet on this video or not because I've done so many of them. <laughs> But if this is, if I'm telling you this again, then forgive the repetition. Um, but if I'm telling you this for the first time, then yay. Okay. So here's what's going on. A couple of really awesome things. The UK is reporting truthful news. It's the first country to do it, which is crazy because it's the most corrupt, horrible, awful, bad, bad, bad stuff has gone on there. So the fact that they've been infiltrated with, with good people, with the white hats, with the alliance, the people who are working behind the scenes to try to restore humanity, um, they have apparently taken over the UK, at least the UK mainstream media. So it's incredible. It's in, if, if you guys want to start hearing some truth, listen to the UK news. I don't know how, how you'd be able to do that, but probably on the internet. Um, Australia, they've experimented a little bit with telling the truth. I'm not sure how that's gone because they haven't don't, don't seem to be telling the truth like the UK is. So yay, for the UK starting the way. Um, and the rest of, of the world is going to start following suit um, as that goes well. You know, they're, then they're gonna, it's going to build momentum. Now similarly, over in uh, Israel, some incredible miracles happening over there too. We're on June 11th, the whole COVID um, scam demic, and I repeat, scam demic is going to get completely dropped. Anything having to do with COVID is going to be absolutely annihilated and gone because they're getting sued. These guys are getting like they're they're being they're going to have a lot of money being taken from them if they continue to be the tyrants that they're being trying to drive that communist agenda <laughs> no ain't happening it they're putting the kibosh on that june 11th and how coincidental that at this end of this incredible portal we're we're going through at this time you know that that it would end that way and so israel is going to be the first of all of the countries following suit because nobody's going to want to get sued nobody's going to want to get in legal trouble and they are all getting in huge trouble if they continue with this crazy madness. So, yeah. <laughs> three gorgeous DM about to break. It's going to happen any minute. Um, those three days, days of darkness, who knows when that's going to happen, but just be prepared. It does feel like it's like impending. That's just a feeling that I have. Um, EBS may or may not happen as dramatically as we hope, but, you know, some form of EBS, the emergency broadcast system is going to go out. It's just more truths coming out for everyone. Um, I'm just so happy to see it happening through mainstream media because that's been needing to happen for so long, you guys. And it'll be amazing if they can get the reporters that everybody who's brainwashed actually trust to start speaking the truth. Oh, my gosh. that That's just that's. To, I can't wait to see it. I'm just so excited for that to start happening. Oh my gosh. For me to be able to even watch the news would be incredible. Incredible. Because <laughs> I cannot watch it. I just can't watch all the lies. But I would love to be able to watch the news and actually hear truth. That would just be so amazing. It'd be such a miracle. And I cannot wait. But then we can't be relying on it from then on out either because we could always get trip, tricked and duped back into believing lies mixed with truth and all kinds of weird stuff. So 
Um, that's why I like watching Tarot by Janine. You know, it's really from from source. It's really by, you know, she's reading the cards and, and God is speaking through those cards. So, <clears throat> or at least I believe they are. I believe God is. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's it for today. <laughs> Hopefully this recorded and I don't have to do it again, but I'd be willing to do it again, God. I'd be willing to do it again. And I'll be really happy to go do it again if I need to. <laughs> this is the attitude we have to take. Just try this on for size till June 11th, you guys. Just no matter what happens, you're going to take it with a grain of salt and you're going to have a great attitude about it. And um, and yeah, join join me if you'd like, because this is going to be my challenge. All right. Have yourselves a beautiful day and we'll talk to you next time (laughs) or the next time or the next time or the next time after that, but for sure tomorrow on the live on Thursday. Okay, guys. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in getting a reading, you can check out my services at amysatori.com forward slash services. You can also join me on Patreon where I do a monthly energies reading, pick a deck, messages from spirit, and more. Subscribe to me on alternative channels such as BitChute, Brand New Tube, Huge Tube, and the Collective Super Channel if you want to be sure we stay connected. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or reach out on Telegram as well. If you're interested in some great health-boosting products I'm a huge fan of, please enter the URL below in your browser for more information. Also, Check for the latest updates in the description of my videos as I try to keep them up to date. Thank you so much and have yourself a beautiful day.